It's Shannon Cook. Sharon was the other one, I believe. I've been divorced before. My ex-wife had a tattoo over her rear end that said, y'all. Imagine my surprise when she cheated on me. I mean, I knew I wasn't the first to see it. But damn, I thought it would be the last. I think I was picking stupid women up for what it was, with stupid pickup lines. You can't walk up to a woman and think you're gonna get a classy woman with, uh, hey, didn't we go to different schools together? <laughs> Especially when she says, yeah, I think we did. The marriage didn't last long. So I got my new wife, I'm like, I'm trying something different. I went to a classy woman. I said, uh, one day your mailbox is gonna have my last name on. <laughs> And it does, she fell for it. <laughs> she wished she'd take that check back. She cashed it. I'm not very good at transitions, you'll see. And I heard about the, uh, the guy that uh, got in trouble for letting his kids play with the neighbor's kids that had the measles, so they would get them. Everybody got all upset about it. Everybody, when I was younger, did that. My mama told me, she said, hey, look here, the next door neighbor's daughter got chicken pox. Go over and play with her and get damn chicken pox. <laughs> I did what my mama said, so I went over there and I got the chicken pox. And she got her piece. <laughs> I know. Her mama was mad than hell, boy. Yeah, I'm mad too. I'm like, hell, at least wear clothes on, you can't see her bumps. Over here scratching like a meth head. <laughs> my old daddy, my uh, wife does CrossFit. That's the correct response, by the way. Yeah. If y'all have never seen these CrossFit women, they like to roll their own cigarettes. <laughs> Not marijuana, the real stuff. Yeah, I knew my wife was tough when I come home from work one day or summer and she's out back weed eating barefoot. <laughs> I don't mess with her. She, uh, it's pretty cool being married to a CrossFit woman though. She does stuff like flip the mattress by herself. <laughs> she disciplines the kids. You know, the kids hate when she disciplines them too. They come up to me and they're like, Daddy, will you just beat the hell out of us with a stick? <laughs> the mama gonna make us work out. She will too. She'll have my doing push-ups, set-ups, stuff. My kids look at me like I'm gonna help them. I'm like, hell, she got me here vacuuming shit. <laughs> Sleeping with a CrossFit woman is a little different too. I'll wear a hashtag me too shirt to bed. <laughs> I think I'm bullshitting. Her maiden call for me is, get in here. I got I'm ready. I immediately stopped washing the dishes and go in there. I walk in there, walk in the bedroom like I'm in that Kenny Rogers movie, Coward of the County. I walk in, she locks the door behind me. Damn, can I just give you a foot rub, ma'am? She says, sure, naked. Be tough now. Um, like I said, I'm not good at transitions. So. <laughs> heard a, I heard, heard an ad on the radio the other day that said, uh, wanting women to donate their gently used homecoming dresses to charity. I'm like, I don't think y'all want a homecoming dress with the girl I went out with. There was no sequence left on back of that damn thing. <laughs> this dumbass girl took it back to the store the next day. She's like, I don't know what the hell happened. Everything just fell off of it. Sales lady's like, let me guess. Auburn University homecoming. <laughs> That's the 14th one this morning. Y'all some hoes over there. <laughs> me too. I had a um, friend took me to a bachelor party one time way out in the damn country. It's one of them uh, strip clubs. Way out in the country, like the, the double deuce off Roadhouse. 
You know, you're a country ass strip club and strippers get naked and start putting on off. <laughs> I'm going to end it there. Thank y'all very much. My name is Shannon Cook.